Yeah, we're six guys in the in our band named Kilotalk. Yeah, we're Norwegian. Uh, yeah, we play. It's kind of hard to describe, but uh, we can uh, just steal the best parts from like trash, hardcore, punk, uh, 70s rock, prog rock, black metal, basically every, everything, and we steal the best parts and. Uh, yeah, we run it through the Quillo Talk filter and it turns into Quillo Talk. Uh, we started out in 2006. Uh, yeah, there's uh, we've been four guys, uh, yeah, beat or two. Uh, it's been consistently in the band, but uh, yeah, uh, we've had we've had a lineup. Uh, We've had a st steady lineup since uh, 2009 now, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, you know, uh, basically before uh, before that we had like the bass, our bass player, he played drums and... Uh, I was playing the bass? Yeah. So um, we just had to put our foot down and, you know, just let people play the instruments they're supposed to and just turn out to be way better. <laughs> <laughs> Say the same thing that Kurt says, that our producer said that three of us equals one good guitar player. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's we like we have a lot of like harmony in our songs, and uh, so we can do all this like three-way harmony thing. Then we'll see, but still keep like the heavy rhythm guitar going. Uh, yeah, it's just been like through the years, it's just became a big part of our sound. Just uh, makes more sense to me when we started out. Like we never had any ambitions about someone outside of uh, Norway hearing our music, and uh, yeah, it just feels a lot more natural to you know sing and write in my own language. And uh, yeah, and by now I think it's you know become a big part of our sound that we sing in Norwegian. And I think a lot of our fans will be disappointed if we start to sing in English. I think it wouldn't really sound like Velo Talk anymore. And yeah. That's that's basically it. <laughs> uh, the owl is actually really random. It's uh, yeah, it came about when we needed a cover for uh, like a compilation of you know a couple of homemade demos that we were, were running on CDs. Uh, so our bass player just suggested like, uh, oh, what about how about we use an owl on the cover? And yeah, we thought that sounded cool, so. Our uh, guitar player Bjarte, he made the cover and yeah, it's just stuck with us ever since then and it just turned into a thing. <laughs> <laughs>